Good afternoon, everyone. It is my honor and privilege to welcome to the capital of the United States the President of Colombia, President Ivan Duque Marquez. I welcome him as a friend and neighbor in our hemisphere so we can recognize the importance of the U.S. Colombia relationship and our commitment to uh, having better relationships throughout Latin America and the Western Hemisphere. Mr. President, I sadly first want to extend my sympathy and that of our colleagues in Congress to the loss of life that you suffered at the ELN brutality and the bombing in January. Uh, today, I look forward to having a conversation with the President about uh, the, respecting the peace accord uh, and honoring, honoring the ceasefire. Uh, we'll talk about trade, I'm sure, the Columbia Free Trade Agreement, the issue of narcotics as we can stop the spread but also protect the communities uh, affected by it, uh, to do so in a way uh, that strengthens our relationship. Uh, we also have an interest in how we go forward in terms of Venezuela, and I commend the President and Colombia for welcoming one million, one million refugees uh, from Venezuela to Colombia. So we have vital interest to discuss. Uh, I'm honored to again welcome the President. I'm also uh, honored to be joined today by one of our colleagues, Congressman Gallego from Arizona, who's the first Colombian American ever to be elected to the Congress of the United States. He joined me in welcoming the President. Mr. President, welcome. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker. It's a great honor for me to be here, Capitol Hill, visiting you. Uh, first of all, I want to express my gratitude for your support to Colombia. One of the good stories to tell is that our bilateral relationship has always been bipartisan. Right. We have gotten a strong bipartisan support to Colombia. We, as an administration that has been in office for six months, have clearly expressed that we will make a success story out of the people that have left violence and that are in the reincorporation stage to get sustainable ways of living. We will work on that, and we have been working on that with successful stories throughout the country. I must also say that we will be tough. We will bring to justice people who want to go back to criminal activities. And I thank you for your condolences and your expressions of support after the terrorist attack that was committed by ELN. We are working to bring to justice the people behind those crimes and we expect that governments that have given harbor to that organization will be denounced by us and by the other governments. I will also like to thank you and all the members of Congress for the support you have given to Colombia in trade. And we will work closely to keep on strengthening the bilateral ties so that we have more cross-investment and cross-trade in different products. And last but not least, I also want to thank you and thank all the members of U.S. Congress in the support you have given to Juan Guaido as the legitimate president of Venezuela. We need to work closely, hand in hand, so that Venezuela puts an end to the dictatorship that has affected all its society, and they can have a And we're working on that process, and we will continue to participate inside the Lima Group, inside the OAS, and in all the multilateral stages so that Venezuela can put an end to that horrific story. So thank you so much, Madam Speaker. It's a great pleasure for me to be here in Capitol Hill with you. Thank you, Mr. President. 